the Aggies as time runs down. Here's a pass to Morrison, a double pass. Morrison's going to throw it. He's got a man wide open. That is Turbin. Touchdown, Aggies. How, how about that? A double pass. Stanley Morrison back in the game. 34 yards on the score. Robert Turbin. Here's another look. Was a lateral. Morrison started one way, then came back and still managed to get enough on the ball to get it to Turbin, and Turbin just walked into the end Stanley's zone. Stanley's a scrambler. He got some scramble in him. And there were two seconds left, incidentally, in the third quarter. They had called the timeout when we went away to break. They had not yet uh, recognized that timeout. We thought it was the end of the quarter. There were, in fact, two seconds left, so that touchdown does come in the third quarter. So what a play, and now we're into this seesaw game once again, just like it seems every whack game that we've seen this year <laughs> has been. We had a pitcher's duel for three quarters. Now they're scoring right and left, one, one, one play drive, two play drives. Here's, now, a, here's another look at it, Coach. Stanley scrambles to his right, hits Robert Turbin. And he did it with a man hanging on his shoulder, too. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. There's a guy right on his shoulder. Robert was over there sunbathing. Nobody within five yards, 10 yards of him. It's a hard catch when nobody's all on you. Yeah, he did juggle it, but he managed to get it, gather it in, take it in for the score. Still no smile from Gary Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> or Morrison. Yeah. Or Coach. Now there's a smile from Anderson. Yes, loving it. Not Coach Alts turned to smile. Something tells me the scoring's not done. No, I don't think so. Here we go. With the extra point now, a 21 to 17 ball game. Wacky world of football. Fourth quarter now underway, and we start with the kickoff. And this one is driven to Wooten right at the goal line. To the 10, right up the gut. Almost to the 23-yard wow. line, but a great play. It's a name we haven't used today. Forrest Dab. Forrest. South Jordan, Utah. All heart for us. Great tackle. Just got in under the pile. Oh, you mean bone jarring tackle, too. Ooh. Felt it here. Heard it. It's a uh, touchdown catch by Turbin. His 50th touchdown here at Utah State. That is number one all time. Robert Turbin. Give this time is to Mark, and Mark will pick up a couple. Bobby Wagner on the stop. Been able to say that about 120 sometimes this year. Yep. One of those guys always around the ball. Picked up three on first down, second down, seven. Lantrop, remember, the quarterback. Fajardo injured two series ago. Lantrop, play fake, rolls right, steps up, throws, catch is made, first down. He's got a good throw by move. They'll never call it. Rashard Matthews on the reception. Jamani Robertson on the tackle. Let's take a look at Nevada's team stats. They're presented by Bully Sports Bar and Grill. Come watch all the games at Bully's Sports Bar and Grill. And they're up to 409 yards. They average about 520 yards per game, so they're right on average. No, not to worry. Yeah. <laughs> More passing than rushing, and they're just about even in both departments. Lantrip rolls out, throws underneath, catch made, stepping out of bounds, Session. Session's fifth catch of the game, and he's been a real factor in this game. I'm waiting now for the rollout, out and up route. They've, they've hit this route maybe six or eight times in this game where they throw the out, and perhaps at some point, the fourth quarter, they'll stutter it, fake an out route, and take it upfield because the corners are having to play it tighter. 
Second down and two, kind of a free play here, really, for Nevada. Quick pass, look out. Great play that time to jump that by Maurice Alexander. Lox had no chance, and that could have been a pick six. Do you think Maurice smelled it? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> he yeah. smelled it out. He was coming hell-bent for election from about 10 yards back. Look at him. Oh, yeah, fly away. So it's gone from third and two now to third, and, or second and two to third and six. How about a merit badge for Corbin Lox hanging on to the ball? Mm. Tough kid, Corbin Lox. Land trip straight back. Now he throws for Lox. Not much. Lox taken out of bounds, the 42 yard line again of a yard. Nevin Lawson makes the stop, runs him out. Good defensive set for the Aggies. They will get it back. Big they time. have the lead by four. Big time stop for the Utah State defense. So Bennett will punt. Morrison will be the deep man. Bigger part, Hurst will punt. Twisting kick. Morrison, fair catch, and he'll let it back. It hit a Nevada man, so it's going to be down right there at about the 14-yard line. With that, we'll jump off the track. 12-31, remaining to be played in the ball game. I wouldn't go anywhere. This is a typical whack football game. 21-17, Aggies. 17 ball game 12 31 remaining to be played utah state ahead let's take a look at our aggie team stats they're sponsored by icon fitness changing lives with fitness innovation 317 total yards pretty good mix 143 rushing the ball and a lot of that has come in the second half and 174 yards passing but right now they're getting it done a little bit more effectively than the wolf pack i was starting to feel puny for dave baldwin the offensive coordinator but he pulled a rabbit out of the hat there on the double pass. Kennedy on the pitch this time to Williams. Williams on the cutback and a nice defensive play by Jeremiah Green, preventing that play from going even further. He did a great, he made a great tackle, and you're right. As it was, gain of eight. Would have been off to the races. You'll see it. Green makes a terrific saving tackle here. Good hustle. Played to the echo of the whistle. Pursuit. Second down and two, two tight ends to the near side. And Kennedy's gonna go up in trouble. Now he rolls away from trouble, buys some time, and now he tries to step up and run. That was a mistake. Lost about two yards on the sack, and the sack will go give, give credit to Kalen Burnett. Adam could have thrown that ball out of bounds. Saved himself a tackle and a loss of two yards. Four yards to go. Hit so time. Third and four now. Morrison lines up in a slot inside of Austin. Big play for Nevada. You got to get the ball back. Get rolling. And this time, Kennedy on the keeper, nope. and I don't think so. He's short. Gonna be about a half yard short. Kalen Burnett makes the stop, and I believe they're going to be about a yard short, and I wouldn't imagine the Aggies would go for it from here. I, there's no way. Quarterback keeps it, takes the sweep. Just not enough. Coming from the backside that time. Nice job. Ooh, I wouldn't punt it to Richard. And this one is going to bounce and go out of bounds about the 26 yard line. Not a bad punt. No return. That's the key. It's huh? the best thing. Amen. So the Wolfpack will take over now at the 27 yard line. It was a 48 yard punt, but as you said, no return. 48 yards. Well, oh, huge. That is huge for the Aggies, for their defense. No return. So Tyler Landrup will come back on to quarterback the team, and there's a look at Cody Fajardo. You can see he's still got a pretty decided limp. I doubt very much we will see him again. So it's going to fall on the shoulders of Tyler Landrup. Was the starter at the beginning of the season. 
more of a passer than a runner. And the give is to Mark, and he gets nothing. Stop for a loss of about two. Here's what happened to Cody Fajardo. Watch his left ankle. He rolled the ankle and then got rolled up on. Mm -hmm. Right here. That rolled up right there. So now it's Tyler Landrum. Second down, 12 for Tyler. Straight back to pass, four-man rush over, over the middle to the tight end, Norense. Pickup of about seven, but it's still going to be about five yards short of the first down. Kyle Gallagher defending. So big third down play here once again for the Wolfpack. Tough tackle by Kyle Gallagher. Tough football player. Third down and five. Land trip this time rolls out. He's gonna run the ball and he is gonna get the first down. Looked like that play was dead and gone and he cut it back and picked up the first down at the 40 yard line. You're right Barry, it's all Tyler Landtrip. Thought he was just gonna run it to the corner and he stops and plants, goes upfield and gets the first down. You'll see it again right here. He took Bobby Wagner with him. Watching book cut back now basically. They over pursue. First down at the 41 yard line. That was a big play. Give this time is to Mark. Flag comes in. It's Jefferson on the carry, and a flag will come in. You know where that flag's at. I sure do. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of things. Man. Holding offense. Number 75. 10 yard penalty. Replay. First down. You know what, Barry, what I've noticed especially in the last few years of football, that they are not throwing that flag away from the point of attack anymore. It's usually got to be right at the point of attack somewhere, and I couldn't pick it out right here. But uh, It was Chris Barker, number 75, on the hold. So that backs him all the way up to the 31-yard line and makes it first and 20. Here's that little, again, bubble screen to Matthews. Not a lot going on there. He picked up about six. Bobby Wagner on the stop. Wagner, 12 tackles already today. One of the leading tacklers in the country. Averaging nine plus coming into this game. I like the idea of getting the ball to 15. Richard, just a broken tackle away from going the distance about every time. Man, man with the ball in his hands. Land trip straight back with time. Steps up, throws deep. Got a man. Catch made Matthews. First down at the 30 yard line. There he is again. And another really nice ball thrown by Tyler Landrup. Perfect throw with the sun in his eyes. That sun now is becoming a factor on the far, far side of the field. It's time of the afternoon. You look back and it's hard not to see nothing. Sunshine. We walked in that corner of the end zone yesterday. Nice throw. Look at that ball floated in. 31 yards on that pass play. And Tyler Landrup, since coming on for Cody Fajardo, 8 of 9 for 135 yards. So he's getting it done. Here he is on the keeper. And he's going to get it down about the 27-yard line. He'll gain about 5. Bobby Wagner again on the tackle. Tyler's a senior. Started the season as a starting quarterback. He's answering the, the bell for one of his final shots here. Yeah, he's been around a long time. He's already graduated. He's got a degree in finance and economy. Married. His wife, Elena. Give this time straight ahead to Jefferson. Jefferson, I believe, is going to have a first out. <coughs> Get the feeling Nevada's on point on a mission here. Momentum has really hopped on the offensive shoulders. At the 21 yard line, a first down. And 
Matchup going to throw, got a man again, but that time he just missed it. Matthews was open at about the seven yard line, and Matthews saying, My bad. So it'll be second and ten. Matthews looks worn out. He's done about everything he can do. He had about a what an 80-yarder called back on a punt return. That's right. That, uh... Second down and ten. This time they run session in motion. And the give is to Jefferson. And Jefferson will get it down. About the 15 yard line, maybe a little short of the 15 yard line, but he picked up about five, a little more than five. Now it's going to be third down and a big play right here. Do you think 15? Well, I think could be. Yeah. <laughs> There's a good chance of that. Yeah, hey. He's got 12 catches in the game already. He's up over 200 yards. So sure handed. So tough in traffic. So tough against man. They're going to give him special attention as they roll the safety to his side. Here's Lantrop. Lantrop's going to run, and he's, I don't know, it's going to be close. I don't think it's going to make any difference <laughs> with the play. They're going to go, they'll run another one. I think they will, yeah. Don't think they'll settle for a field goal here with 543 left. The clock is not any kind of a factor, but they trail by four. Comes a whole fresh bunch of big guys in for the D line, all rotated through. Just a little, State. little bit of hesitation on the part of Lance at that time. So it's fourth down, less than a yard. Stephon Jefferson. Lantrip going to take it himself. He's going to get the first down. Fumble the ball. Ball is loose. Picked up by Wagner. Oh, my. And the Aggies have it. Oh, my. What a defensive play that was. Somebody stripped him. And it may be Wagner that's down. It is Wagner that's down. Did he recover the fumble? He did. Hope he landed on the ball. That'd be... Knock the air out of him would be best thing. I what a huge play, regardless, a tremendous play. Here it is. Ball's out to the right. Garner stripped the ball. Wagner picked the ball up. You saw the reach in, the strip by Gardner. And then Wagner picks it up. And there's the coach saying, <laughs> at a boy. Fist pump. <laughs> and Wagner is up. Anyway, Bobby. It appears that he'll be okay. Mm -hmm. You say Garner got the strip. Garner that was got huge. the strip. Terrific strip. Talked earlier. So now the Aggies with the clock on their side as Nevada comes up empty. See the running game here, don't we? And they give it to Williams. Williams bouncing outside, trying to cut it back. That was just inches away from another big one. Duke Williams makes the stop on Kerwin Williams. That's a game saver. That's, as you said, very that thing's off to the races if he doesn't make that. They've been they've been very close there. to they've been very close to breaking a big run here. Same offensive set here. Williams again. Williams on the cutback, smacked as he crossed the 20 yard line. Maybe close to a first down. James Michael Johnson makes the stop, and I think it's going to be enough. You can hear that pop all the way up here. Watch this hit. The inside linebacker coming down the line. Ouch. Bottom line, first down. Clock now down to 428. They've been running this particular set. It's been very effective. Yeah. Williams again. Williams oh. just tripped up. Just and again. again, it was just one step from breaking it for the score. Zach Madonic saved the house that time. Terrific saving tackle. You're going to see it at the right of your screen. He just got it. It's a foot race. Nice save, Zach. 
Gain of nine, almost 10. It's going to be second down about a half yard. Wolfpack staying in the base defense. We got a, a mugged up a little bit here, a little bit. And to give this time to Turbin. Turbin's got the first down at the 35 yard line. Oh, and a fumble, but they're going to say the ball was down, the man was down. That's what caused the fumble. Yeah, every both teams are tackling the ball well right now. 332 remaining. Let's see it again here, Turbin. Yeah, you can see him tackling the ball. Mm, Stripping. Khalid Wooten that time. First down, the ball at the 35 yard line. Clock continues to tick down. 315 remaining. Still base defense for Wolfpack. This time Kennedy on the keeper across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Pick up a seven. Brandon Marshall on the tackle. Nice play by Adam Kennedy there. Two hands on the ball. The pull to the quarterback was the call. Nevada's starting to get knocked back off the ball now. So they may be getting a little tired. They have been warriors today. Second down, long three. Shuffling all kinds of people around here. Williams this time on the carry, and Williams stopped short of the first down. About a yard short at the 44-yard line. Now the clock down to 215. Brandon Marshall and Marlon Johnson on tackle for the Wolfpack, but now third down, the clock ticks toward two minutes. Oh boy. This makes Utah State Bull eligible if they can pull this off. Quarterback sneak, huh? First time since 1990. Straight ahead, and I don't know. I don't think so. All right, we got one of one linesman. The linesman is saying that he might have had enough, but it's it's close. <laughs> it's close. And this time he got a generous spot. I think he might have it. Oh my. I think it's going to be very close. They're not measuring it, huh? Well, I guess not. That surprises me. I mean, it's it's awful close. We'll take a timeout as well. 141 remaining to be played. 21 to 17, Aggies. We're coming back. First down, fourth down in inches, and the Aggies will go. I wouldn't sneak it at Brett Roy. Or they'll just see if they can get the Wolfpack to jump. No, they don't. And it's a first, first down. down. What Huge a gutsy play. call. Huge play. We're going bowling in Logan, Utah. How about that call? And Nevada used one of its timeouts just before that play. Here it is. Fourth and short. Spin dive to Robert Turbin, is it? It is. Gary great, Anderson, great not, guts, not Gary. Real, not real demonstrative, is he? Oh, that's great guts call by the Utah State Aggies. Give it to Turbin once again. Nothing doing this time. I wouldn't cut back to Brett Roy, no matter what. <laughs> Nevada will take its second time out here, I believe. They will. And that will leave one timeout remaining. To the Wolfpack, 106 remaining. They've to got be their calculators the out. Aggies have the ball, and more importantly, they've got the lead. Twenty-one to seventeen. It's Utah State's game to win. Gary Anderson has done a great job getting his team ready, and they got beat off the ball early in this game. This really is, for all intent, the last play that Utah actually has to run. After this, they can take a knee. 
They give it to Williams. Williams is stopped. And now they'll take their last time out with exactly one minute remaining. Rossetti made the tackle. So the last time out, last time Nevada can stop the clock, exactly one minute showing on the clock, 21 to 17. It is third down. They can run it out. They've got to stretch this play out. No. Not quite. How much can they burn up on this play here? Get it to 35. Then take a penalty and then run it on fourth down. <laughs> here we go. All right, we'll see. They line up in the gun once again. Now, now Utah State's going to take a timeout because they couldn't get the players in the right positions here. Wire, wires were crossed. So this is just a 30-second timeout, and they'll get straight where everybody needs to be. We want to remind you that this copyrighted telecast is the property of Wax Sports Properties, LLC, an affiliate of Learfield Sports, LLC, under rights granted by the Western Athletic Conference. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without the express written consent of Wax Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. See that? I even gave you another word that time. <laughs> Ed McMahon. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wagner, incidentally, has moved up to number three all time amongst whack tacklers. Bobby. Well, Turbin's going to carry the ball here. Honestly. Could be Williams. <laughs> Could be Kennedy. Oh! -ho! He got it. He's got a first down. And that's a great pull. The last play they will have to run. He'll be able to take a knee here. 55 seconds left. Nevada cannot stop the clock. They'll have to snap it once. And Utah State will be bowl eligible. How about that? Adam Kennedy, watch the quarterback. He's going to fake it to their leading rusher. Big time. Big time win for them. First time, I said 1990, first time since 1997 that the Aggies will be bowl eligible. And Gary Anderson giving it the proper attaboy. Oh, blue Gatorade. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> Although, in this case, it's room temperature. <laughs> I'm hoping that's his father. And that's the ball game, Utah State. As the clock winds down, nine seconds, eight, seven, six, they become bowl eligible, their sixth win. It has really been kind of a magical season for Utah State. Started out at Auburn, the defending national champions, really should have won that game. You have an idea if that game were played again, Utah State probably would have, would have been able to close the deal. A terrific victory for the Aggies, and it's been a terrific season. They went out next week, they could be seven and five, they're bowl eligible, they'll wind up playing in the postseason for the first time in 14 years and it's only the beginning this is a young oh, football yeah. team oh yeah <laughs> so this has uh, really been quite an adventure for Utah State here senior day could not have happened under better conditions Tonight's play of the game brought to you by Geico. Score a touchdown with Geico in just 15 minutes. You could save 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO. It's a double pass. Morrison to Turbin for the touchdown, and it was the deciding touchdown, as it turns out. 21 to 17, a big strip and fumble recovery as Nevada was driving to take the lead on the next possession. That sealed the deal for Utah State. Give it up for the Aggies. This team has really 
come back from the dead more times than once this year. As we said, this is their fourth come from behind victory in what has been a magical year, and it's still got more to go for Gary Anderson and the Utah State Aggies. Big win, 21 to 17. We're coming back.